bank note. God, I don't know where to start. Uh, got loads and loads of things happening, Sky. Guys, I'm super excited. And uh, you know me, guys, I am over the moon right now. I've got loads of 12 volt things for the bike. Um, we're going full on indicators, headlights, brake lights, uh, horn. We are going all out. We've got loads of cool stuff for it though, guys. The bike's totally stripped at the minute. I'm rewiring it. I've got so many mint ideas for this bike, guys. Um, we're getting a three-stage switch. It's something I've known you can get for a long time, but uh, I've ordered one. It's came, plugged it in, works perfectly fine. A little bit of coffee there stuck around my uh, lips there. Uh, we've got an indicator switch. We've got a new start switch. We've got a new uh, do do do. We've got a new cutoff switch. Uh, going full out. The spike is going to be. If it could get any better, it's going to be loads better. We've got flasher relays, LED flasher relays. We've got fuse boxes and a 12 volt converter from Amazon. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, man, can't wait to get all this stuff done. Uh, we've got an extra um, cool thing that's coming in the post right now. Uh, but I'm going to keep it a secret until next week guys you're just going to have to wait and find out where it is but the bike's going through a full transformation so uh, what I've been up to is I'm going to show you guys I've actually got a video I did last night uh, in the dark so these are the uh, back lights I'll show you these are pretty cool the LED strips you can get them on eBay I'll probably do a, a list of all the parts I've bought but what, this ha what happens here is it goes red and then you've got the indicator on the side absolutely awesome but a uh, few things I've learned guys I knew a little bit about 12 volts but what I didn't realize is that I went out to the car shop so I'll get 12 volt relay for the indicators bought this little thing little two prong one keep it simple easy to wire up and uh, it didn't work I couldn't understand why and apparently they've got to use a certain amount of wattage or a certain amount of amps for them actually for them actually work so for you to get the LEDs to flash uh, I've had to buy, well worth noting, this little thing here, which is another relay, but this one works for LEDs, 12 volt LEDs. So I had a bit of a nightmare with them. Something I'm going to point out because I had the confusion with it. On the bottom of it, you can see here, you've got an L and a B. Your live actually goes on the B, so it's worth remembering because uh, it doesn't work otherwise. Yeah, my head absolutely bust. We've got loads of things happening, guys. I am bloody, ah, just we need to sort it all out. I've, yeah, so we've got all the wiring out, guys. We've got our new switch, three stage switch. We've got the wires for that to sort out. Uh, here somewhere, there we go. Uh, we've got a plug to put on. We've got this one here. Uh, this one here is our new indicator switch. Down here somewhere, got all this one to wire up. Indicators, horn, and lights. Uh, oh, what else have we got to wire up? All the new parts, harness, the bike's absolutely stripped. But uh, I've got some mint ideas, guys, you're just going to have to wait. But there's a lot of things happening. To any of my subscribers, I do apologise uh, for not uploading the video last week. The um, reason why was uh, I had to MOT in the van and uh, something really bad happened, guys. So I'm lying in bed last uh, Friday night, I think it was, and my loss is. Uh, Dogs jumped up at the door. I don't know if you can see, but the scratch marks are on the wall. He does it, keep me in here all the time. But uh, he's uh, been jumping up at the wall. She goes, he's knocked my bike over. So I was half asleep and I was like, well, yeah, so I'll just pick it up in the morning. It's not the first time, you know, it'll be fine. So I went down the next morning, picked the bike up and uh, pulled the brake lever in. When I was just about to have a look at the wires, uh, pulled the brake lever in, nailed down next to the bike and the, bra the brake lever pulled all the way in. What's going on there? That's not good. So I need to explain something to you. So the bike had fallen over and landed on the motorbike stand that I've got there. But it's landed exactly in the wrong place and it's only landed right here on this actual knuckle, which is on the lever, part of the actual chassis for the, uh, the reservoir of the brake. And uh, it's cracked it, hasn't he? So I pull the lever again. Oil started pumping out. Oh, never, guys, you've got no idea. I tried absolutely everything to fix it. I have eventually fixed it, um, but 
but it's just a little bit mm, not 100% sure about it. It's it's worked, but uh, what I've had to do is use um, chemical metal. Now I've had to re-drill it, re-tap it. You know, probably got it down on it, guys. It was a nightmare of a job. I tried these other methods, you know, I went on and on. But in all honesty, I've been thinking maybe to change the levers, uh, because if not, I'm gonna have to um, put switches onto these ones, which I hope levers have, have been really good, but if I've got to put switches on them anyway, I might just change the levers. Um, I've seen some awesome ones, actually off a motorbike, uh, and they're not that expensive, you get them on Amazon. Um, they look really neat, so I think I might go with them. The only issue is, is that mountain bike brakes fall on with a M8 thread. Um, I'll try and explain, so into the lever here. This bit here, screwing into the lever is M8. Might even be M6, I think it's M8. And motorbike ones are M10, so I'd have to change this union here, uh, one way or another, to make it suit. So that's my issue there. Can't do that just immediately. So um, yeah, can't wait for the postman to come today. Come on, so come on. But I'm not telling you why, guys. You're gonna have to wait till next week, and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next week, guys. See you next week. Yeah.